Howdy! Welcome back to Fallout Part 12, Colony Vegas. We are... <clears throat> back at the NCR outpost. We just got done clearing out the ants. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. You mentioned a reward. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not going to come check. So here you go, just between us. Are just kind of fixing and maintaining all our gear before we leave. For the most part, we are about to hit the road to head towards uh, Nipton. Do the quest to go fastest. Fast travel down to the gas station or the basically it's the mayor's out hideout. Oh, what the fuck! I didn't know the NCR had their own version of Liberty Prime. Beauty of the Monster Wars mod. You know that thing should have saved Private or the guy there that the guy that was supposed to take the quest. Uh, cold, cold heart. He died last episode, and I I missed out on some XP. I do not understand why Liberty NCR Prime didn't save his ass. There is a game I want to play other than New Vegas, but I am going to get a little bit further in New Vegas before we stop and take a break and play a different game. But on my, uh, Depending on where you're watching this, you're either watching this on BitChute or YouTube. YouTube, if you go to my channel and you go down far enough, about three or four years ago I made a Bioshock 1 Part 1. And there is a Part 2, but it's missing in the ethos of time and space. It might show up again on my channel, on my YouTube channel, but I honestly might just unlist the first Bioshock and remake it and just kind of... Just do the whole shebang from the start again and just kind of, I might even record it live and, or, uh, record my voiceover at the time of playing instead of doing it how I usually do, which is, it gives me the time to think about what I want to say and, uh, talk over the gameplay with a little more logistics, but... I do miss having on-the-fly commentary, and I, I'm not, I don't think I, I, I don't think I'm a, a comedian, but I definitely think I'm funnier when I'm on the fly, and you hear what I'm thinking and saying at the moment, because usually after I, a few hours, I have things to, I condense things, and I boil it down to a more essential, it sounds like I'm saying I make things sound, or like I, I, I process things make them sound better later when it's like nah. Usually my first impression is the best version of my impression and outside of that it just kind of doesn't fall flat but it just doesn't really feel the same energy. Come on. 
I would do a 40 minute episode, but I think this is just going to be a short 28 minute episode. Instead of trying to stretch it out and uh, make something more of, of something simpler, try to make it more uh, time wasting, it would, it would just be kind of a waste of time to invest or embellish it this episode more. I could just like say, okay, Nipton was a went to Nipton and boom, 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 things happened. But I think next episode I will record my uh, live react or I'll record my microphone, even though that usually is a not a bad idea, but I get interrupted a lot and I get a lot of Yeah, I just get interrupted a lot, and I usually just feel like it's better to record in this way, so I can basically explain things and not have to worry about shit, but I do miss having the live reaction. Yeah, I'm a good, I'm a good shot with that, with that pistol in the scope. I don't try to sneak all the time during Fallout New Vegas, but I definitely, when I first go into a combat situation, if I can, I will sneak and try to take out a few of them with sneak crits. I don't like invest in criticals. I, I think my luck is at 5, because I genuinely like to keep every stat at 5, or... You know, I, I, I don't know. I like to keep my character so he could run around the waist and not get weighed down too bad. I'm just gonna loot, grab all the... Oh, there's the buddies. watching uh, the anime that I haven't watched in a long time, and it's, eh, it's kind of in between, it's a bit anime, it's, uh, it's edgy, so it's got the horny side of things, but I think it's a pretty funny show, but I definitely can see the horniness, like, just turning off a lot of people. I'm starting to not enjoy the zero sugar soda, but I'm, I'm getting to acquire the... Oh, this isn't as, as bad as it first tasted when I first tried it. Especially if you're eating something, it, it's more just nice to have a drink. Like, even water is amazing. Like, if you're being cheap and you don't go out to, like, a restaurant, you buy, like, the... A mid-range meal, but you don't want the drink with it. You get you get a weird look. It's like usually someone wants a nice drink with their nice meal, but I've definitely been in the boat where it's like, no, nah, I'll just drink the free plain plain water. I would say we'd use the super stem packs, but honestly, I sell those and. If I'm desperate and I have no health items, I'll use one. There's a stim, super stim pack debuff, and I hate it, especially on hardcore. I I try to never use stim pack or super stim packs because there's already a not a debuff for stim packs, but they, like they don't work the same as they do in the base game. Hardcore is its like own version of the game. It's like a difficulty up upon the difficulty. So you can like turn That's the thing, you could have hardcore and then turn it down to easy and you could have a not a fun not a hard time, but you'd have a you'd have a basically a, 
a survival-esque game where you need to gather food and eat and drink water, but also you have... I hear so many people complain about the combat of Fallout, and it's like... I don't know, it's it's okay to me. I, I mean, it, you press a button and it, yeah, there's a delay sometimes with some of the guns, and yeah, you might not have the... Uh, you know, the shooting abilities of other, of like, more advanced gunplay games, like, I'd love to have Call of War as lean abilities and, like, like, Quick Draw and all the cool other game special abilities, but I'm fine with that. I'm, I've learned to acquire, I, I mean, I've downloaded combat mods or mods that, like, change up the thing. I mean, I, lo I love Dust. Oh! Did you see hey! That crazy bitch just attacked me see that crazy bitch? She was fucking. She just won my caps. No, none at all. We've been traveling to get. Well, we'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand. My... Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my lucky. He's just like. Yeah, every once in a while you can. You're lucky. I'm just like your lucky start cap nickels. So I started collecting. Say more. And once I had enough, or say I had less. Since I thought they were lucky, I, I don't have enough to get to get it. Convince him to give it to me, and you can't exit out and then talk to him again. So sadly, I had to do what I did to Malcolm Holmes. I think Sunny isn't too judgmental. Yeah, we'll just take his arm. I mean, I feel bad just leaving the guy nude-ish in the middle of the desert, but... Eh. How we slowly no wait so a bunch of shit on, uh, on the sunny I don't know if this is a spoiler but I think the first companion we come across is she's one of my favorites and I've I don't know. I whenever I play Fallout, I usually do her quest. I, I like try to keep her around the longest so I can do her quest. The uh, but uh, I don't want to trade out Sunny that quickly, so we might wander around the area of Novak for a little bit with Sunny. But we might be trading her out pretty quickly in the next two to three, four episodes. Why I say two to three to four is because. Knowing me, it will be a little bit here, a little bit there, and then, oh fuck, there's a moth. The companion isn't far away from Novak, but it is, I want to say in-game it's a few miles down the road. But, logistically, it's like... A while down the... The interstate from Novak, there's a... There's an I-88 pit stop, and... That's where we might trade out Sunny, but... Again, we're... Here. We'll probably keep her around, because she is carrying a bit of our shit, and... I've always wanted to have Sunny Smiles as a companion, because, you know, it... it I don't think having a companion early in the game is cheating, but I definitely get the sense that they wanted you to have a bit more of a challenge before you got to one of the first companions that they intended you to play. Won the lottery? I did. Smell that air. Smell that air. Stop. Just bring it in. What 
Lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God, smell that air. <laughs> I should tell okay. you why why he's like I mean, freaking out and like screaming. Sure. Yeah. Not no more. Powder gang is small time, it sounds man. like oh, I'm you're no winner. big deal, dude. You I'm just won the lottery. lottery. I mean, there's bigger lead. things, Brian. And you see that fire in the background? That's literally. Never felt better. If did civilians and his buddies are on that Bye. fire right now? Little, little lore between you and me, he just runs out into the middle of Scorpion Gulch. That's not its official canon name, but that's what I call it, because there's literally nothing but fucking geckos and scorpions out there. Come on. Uh, there's a giant crevasse that's a little far down that way. Uh, they, they, well, I don't fucking know what the fuck that thing was, but it's a firebug, or... It looks like a bot blowfly with a shooting an incinerator out of its ass, so we're just gonna for it and let the Legion handle it. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. This I isn't the last time the you fate of the canonically or, or scripted to memorize me every him. detail. If you somehow got to New Vegas, I want you to teach like, everyone you meet the lesson. Either you just skip dipped in or dipped in and you go around the long way and you and you just don't talk to him. You can come back here after you've been to Vegas and uh then I bid you he'll give you a uh 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 Denarius or like a weird necklace that basically is a mark from Kaiser or Caesar that Degenerates like you belong on a cross. It implies that you are free, you, that you are pardoned of all of your crimes against the Legion, and you are able to come speak to him. And if you somehow get that, come back to Nipton and talk to him. He's like, oh, you might not recognize me because I don't have a dog's head on my head. But uh, we met the Vegas Strip. Now we begin the last 10 minutes of the video, or... There's a bit of a fanat, fanat, uh, mess up that happened where a bit of footage got kind of messed up because I had to restart the game and... I don't know if it's because I switched over to New Vegas Script Extender launch, or... What was going on, but when I started the New, Ve New Vegas, it didn't want to record, so I was using Bandicam for a minute, and I don't mind Bandicam. It's okay. It it's not my it's not my favorite thing to use for recording. I don't judge anyone for using it. I mean, if you can, if you're willing to edit out the beginnings or parts where you start sh recording your desktop, you don't have. I mean, my desktop's like Mount Fuji. It's it's not a cool desktop, but it's definitely not embarrassing. But I don't know. I don't want people seeing all the random crap I have on the on my desktop because I got like files named like personal evaluations or that kind of stuff, and it's like nah. Sure. My business, what's on my have? desktop, not yours. <laughs> Anyways, after I. 
get this uh, episode compiling and uh, processing. I'll probably uh. Let me see what you got. Be ground for a bit and then, uh. It's not a fast or easy way to make money, but there's a lot of, uh, I don't drink a shit ton of sodas or things with cans, but I, there's occasionally a lot of cans around, so I'll, I'll you like, do the deposit return where you, like, uh, either, you can go to pl certain stores, you can do the, va uh, the honesty thing where you say how many you turned in and they'll count it out after the fact and they'll they'll confirm or if you lie to them they'll get the first time they'll give you the money but the second time they'll be like you lied to us and, I, and you'll either have to explain what happened or never be able to return cans there again because if you lie to them then there's the well they can't trust your word so it's nice to have that ability if I like to not sit there and scrub or clean the cans, but I like to sit there, uh, brush them off, or if there's any cobwebs or dust or anything on it, so I can say, make sure, yes, this says 10 cents or 5 cents or whatever the deposit is for your state or whatever, that kind of thing. Some places where it's like alcohol is taken, I mean, not. Yes, beer cans are a thing, and but like some places they'll even take actual like gigantic bottles of booze, like rum and oh, fuck it, another evolved rat roach. Kept calling it a cockroach last time, which is not incorrect, but it's not it's not right, but it's not wrong. And the game crashed, or it's about to. I'll tell you when the game crashed, and I sat there and I was like, what the fuck? I guess I need to install some New Vegas Script Extender or Yagats, y Yangit's uh, patch. I was like running around, and you can tell that the game is getting freezy, or it's deciding it's not wanting to work. It's kind of funny, the, la the next time I went down there, he actually dug the, ra the uh, Rad Roach, the Evolved Rad Roach. When got into that locker, grabbed the plasma rifle, and tried to use it against me the next time I entered the basement. I am, I think I recorded it with Bandicam, but it didn't come out correctly, or didn't do... I just didn't want to keep the footage, so I deleted it, sadly to say. But... If there's any more times or incidents where something like that happens or an enemy... ...does something really interesting or does something really... ...like, oh, the AI isn't smart, but it's definitely... It, it will process what's in its environment and it will attempt to do things to survive. And then the game crashed. Yeah, I I don't know why I didn't install the patch to begin with, because it would have saved me a headache, but you live and you learn. And the Yang Gets patch and New Vegas Script Extender fixed my issue of, oh, something's down there causing, I don't know if it's what was causing the issues, but something basically was like, nope, I don't want to work with New Vegas and, uh, I refuse. This is the upstairs. I kind of just uh, didn't really. This is like the second floor or third floor, technically. I think there's a there's a stairway up, and then another stairway up where this leads up to the mayor's office. And I don't have block pick of fifty yet, so we're gonna have to come back. There's a few other locations that we're gonna have to come back and do because it has all locked or a average lock and there's a hard lock in the in the bison casino which is like it's basically the ultimate incentive hey come back this place has a good gun i'll let you read i i was gonna read over this and do the lore but i 
we might read it. I'll think about it. We'll either go over this again when I'm doing live rec recording or what, but basically he's a greedy mayor that decided, well, you know, working with the NCR is good, but how about we work with a bunch of criminals that have a known tendency to blow up things that they don't like or basically fucking turn on you when you least expect it. And he's like, you know what's a good idea? Getting them both to come into my town, spend money on my girls, but do it at opposite times. Daytime, NCR. Nighttime, convicts. And eventually the Legion finds this a little bit insulting that he's just having a whole hullabaloo of money and whores and uh, debauchery. So they're like, hey, do you want to make 8,000 caps? And he's like, yes. So they're like, okay, we lure the NCR and the powder gears in here all at once. And there we'll do the rest. And he's just like, say less, bet. And he just fucking... I think he's on the fire. He's technically on the, the tire fire in the center of town, but we're... I don't know. There's a lot of bodies downstairs, so he could be anyone. You just put the mayor as anyone in your brain. There's a few places that we're gonna loot before we leave New Nipton. There's a place where there's like a constitution, there's a grenade rifle. There's a few things that we need to grab before we leave, but we're heading to Novak and or Wolfgang's. It's a weird, not a player home, but it's like a, there's a special melee weapon. On the way out of no, uh, Nipton, there's a canyon-like road, and there's a few things that will try to jump us, but up on the hill to the right, there's a place called Wolfgang or Wolf's House, or it's a, like a little house, and it's a... I'll show you guys. It's pretty nice. You get a n nice little break to loot some stuff. You get a nice little melee weapon that you can either repair your cleaver with, or you can replace... I, I'm, I, I like Chance's Knife a little bit more, but Chop Chop is a... Ooh, it's a solid weapon. If you if you want to do bonus limb damage and do a cleaver, it is perfect for you. But anyways, I'll let you sit here and read this while, uh, while it goes, but um, I think that's enough for me. You all have a nice one. Take care, be safe, and uh, see you in part 13 of Fallout New Vegas. Ta-da. Toodaloo.